What is up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And I wanted to do a very brief update on the cover girls as we are seeing quite the discount in values going on after this recent Disney Golden Moments drop. I thought prices would come up after the market reopened, but it looks like prices are still dipping. So people are selling items on the cheap and trying to grab the newest shiny thing in front of their faces. Jumping into this set, the Batgirl with 517 on the market is now at 30 gems. Let's just look at that retail price and remember that it was 60 gems. Imagine how we felt when this set came out, when the drop happened, and how people were all over these items in the hours after the drop, where I believe this item, I know it was at least upwards of 80 and 90 gems, but who would have ever thought that it would come down to half price, 50% off the price on that item. Um, even the classic ones, here's Batgirl coming in at 63, sailing right back down, headed towards retail price. I believe it was 40 when it originally came out, 39.99. There we go, where it sat on the market for months before it even sold out. This was the drop that did not sell out right away. There's the Catwoman now down to 126. That's still a pretty good value, but we remember what this one peaked. Uh, on the last cycle, top, I believe we were sitting at three or 400 gems. Um, Harley Quinn and Ultra Rare, 120 gems. How about that? And the Supergirl is now below 100. There we have two listings at less than 100 gems. That's not bad for this piece that I really like. I think I've got two or three. Let's see how many of these that I have. And I did pay quite a bit more, somewhere around 150 was the average price, which is okay because I purchased those items with uh, gems that came from selling items at the peak of the last cycle. So it doesn't hurt me at all knowing that I'm in at a higher price because when you do the math for what I paid for the items that I sold during that last run-up, I actually effectively picked up these Supergirls at probably less than the retail price. Um, when you sell an item during a market peak that you got on a drop, let's say if it was 50 on a drop and you sold it on a market cycle peak for three or 400 gems, that means that you're going to be able to buy stuff at higher prices because you have leveraged your money. You're not paying the retail price really or a high market price when you've 10x your gem balance. Now, the Wonder Woman, this is just amazing here. 69.98. We have dropped below 70 gems. So will she come back down to the retail price of 60, which was the blind box price? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I've still got two of these, maybe three. Let's see how many I have. I could add one, but I'm not going to buy yet. I've got two editions. I paid a lot more than 69 gems, but I'm going to wait it out and get a confirmation on a market bottom. And when the prices finally flatten out and stop sailing down on every drop, that will be my tip to go ahead and start accumulating again. Right now, I'm not comfortable with buying. 489, Supergirl is below 500. We did see this over 1,000 gems. And I told myself back when, if this drops below 500 gems, get one. Well, I'm not ready to get one. I think I'm going to wait and continue to watch and see what the market does because I need confirmation. Mara is now sitting at 92 gems. I have bought and sold Mara four times. I think I've bought in anywhere from 80 to 90, and I've sold when it was over 200. I think 240 gems was the price when I sold my last Mara. And now here we are back below 100 gems. So pay attention to this entire set and let's just watch and see what happens. The only one that I'm willing to get right now is this Batgirl for 30 gems. 50% off is very cheap. That is a pretty good deal. 
And from this point, if it drops down to 25 or 20, which I don't see that happening, that's not really leaving a lot on the table. This is a cheap enough price that a continued drop in prices is really not going to hurt that bad. So we will keep our eyes on this, but I just wanted to bring this to light and let you know that this is a set to watch. Of course, none of this is financial advice because I don't know your financial situation, but be careful out there and be patient. That's all I've got for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with a friend and I will have more reports coming your way. This is Carlton and I am out.